Hi everyone! Welcome back to another episode of The Seattle Stitcher. My name is Megan. You can find me on Instagram as The Seattle Stitcher, on Ravelry as Mama Made VM, and you can email me at theseattlestitcher at gmail.com. As I say, you are all very, very welcome here. If you are not new here, you might have just noticed that I did say a different Instagram name. No worries, it is the same exact Instagram. I just changed my handle to make it a little bit easier with me um, having different social media names. I felt like it'd be easiest if everything was just under the Seattle Stitcher, so I'm slowly making the change. Um, hopefully that's not too confusing. Today's video is actually going to be a floss tube extra. It's going to be a very in-depth review of a bunch of different kit brands um, from Riolas to Merejka to Magic Needle to Dimensions. I really wanted to try out things that I felt like were hard to get, harder to get my hands on and things that I felt like were really easy and accessible going to Michaels and Joann's to pick up. Um, from there, I guess I want to say I do feel most people start cross-stitching with buying kits and it's because you get everything all together all at once and that is absolutely amazing. I love it. It's funny because I didn't start with kits myself. I actually started with going on a one, two, three stitch and kitting things up from scratch all by myself because <laughs> there's a little magic button that says add all to cart and I definitely was using that. So I'm a pretty new stitcher myself and it's funny how full circle I still ended up becoming a kit stitcher at the end of the day because I'm absolutely obsessed now and I guess my one thing to say is that no matter what, for all of the kits I have purchased, I have been using a couple of different extras that I have purchased myself, and I'm going to talk about those now. The first one being a Morgan hoop. This is a hoop. I buy them off of Amazon myself, so I'll link it down below. It's going to be an Amazon store find. Um, this is a pretty affordable, in my opinion, hoop. They're great. They're very, very lightweight, so they're easy to hold, and they keep your tension on your project drum tight. They are just amazing hoops. I prefer the seven inch hoop, which I think is a great size. It's kind of a good in between, not too big, not too small. Great for popping into a project bag. So there is the first thing that I'm always purchasing to use with my cross stitch. The next one would be a Q snap. Um, I don't have one handy. It's in my Lowry stand right now. So I'll pop a picture on the screen of what a Q snap looks like. I personally use, I wanna say it's an 11 by 11 Q snap either 11 by 11 or 12 by 12. It's whichever size there, it's one of those. And um, only one of those is a real size for a Q-snap and I don't remember which one, I think 11 by 11. <laughs> well, I use that one, I think it's a good size. It gives me a good surface area for stitching, um, but they are a bit heavier and that can definitely be hard if you're someone who's like arthritic, you have problem with your hands, wrists, etc. cetera. Um, carpal tunnel could be an issue. So definitely, you know, just do your, your stretches and make sure you're taking breaks and drink your water. <laughs> <laughs> but those are my two purchases right off the front that I have used for every single one of the kits. And I want to make that clear just so that if you're first getting into cross stitching, that you're aware that those are things that you might be interested in purchasing with your kit. Now from there, I'm just going to hop right in and grab the first one from the stack. There is no order here. I'm just grabbing from a stack of kits that I have started. And the first one is Magic Needle. So I do have these in project bags, so I will say that's another purchase I suppose that I have made. Um, these are project bags I get on Amazon as well, and in my opinion, they're very affordable, so I will link those down below if you are interested. This Magic Needle kit is Singing Robins. Magic Needle is a Russian brand, and I've had really good luck finding their patterns, no issues at all. The best site that I can recommend to you is My Bobbins. It, my Bobbins with an S, just mybobbins.com. I'll link them down below amazing supplier of so many different brands of kits. And I really do appreciate that I was able to get my hands on some Russian brands because they are amazing quality kits. So I really, really do like this one. If you are interested in seeing all the nitty gritty details, I'm just right off the back and let people know if I do recommend or not the brand. And so right away, I wanna let you know, I do recommend Magic Needle. Absolutely adore them for myself. And I'm gonna go into the details of this kit itself. So again, love the pattern i love the colors you get a good amount of flosses with it you get dmc floss which i absolutely love i'm a big dmc fan myself and you get swigar ada most of the kits i have found are a 14 count so that's great for a beginner maybe not what as someone who's really really into like 40 count you know 40 count 20 count ada or like 40 um count linen would be interested in but it's still a beautiful fabric and the Zweigart softens up so fast. I really, really enjoy stitching on the Zweigart Ada. So this has been a joy for me to stitch and all of the products that come inside of the kit are quality items. So I definitely recommend. 
Um, I'm gonna pop a picture of a 10 by 10 square of the chart itself on the screen. So you can see that this chart does have a little bit of backstitch. The backstitch does come all on the one chart page. That could be a negative for a lot of people, especially if you have a hard time following where you're at on the chart, or you're marking off with a dark colored pen or even a Sharpie per se. Personally, I like to mark off with a highlighter. So I really recommend midliner highlighters. These are pens that Cam the Stitcher and Marjorie May have got me put on to and they're just absolutely amazing. They work so great. I have the dual tip, so there's the fine tip and then you also have your classic highlighter tip, but I like that they come in a ton of different colors. So I bought like a larger pack. Uh, I think just once when I was going grocery shopping at Walmart, I got the larger pack and well worth it, well worth the investment. I actually compared price though and it would be cheaper to get the large pack from Amazon, so I'll link those down below as well. Um, and so as you can see though, in that 10 by 10 block, hopefully that's still on the screen, uh, the actual like backstitching, there's different shades of backstitching. That adds a lot of detail to the piece that I personally like, but I know backstitching is not for everyone. So Magic Needle does have backstitch. Most kits I've found so far do have backstitch though. It tends to be more of a traditional look and I find that kits tend to have a more traditional look. So there's that right off the bat. I find that this paper is really good quality paper. It's not that extremely, extremely thick stuff that can kind of almost be hard to highlight off of, like the ink doesn't want to soak into the paper kind of thing. It's just regular old printer paper, but that also means that the chart can disintegrate quite quickly. Um, not in the sense of like, oh my gosh, it's just gonna rip apart and fall apart, but Magic Needle sends you their charts all as one large poster. That could be a downturn for a lot of people as well, just because it is a little bit hard to follow and like fold this up and everything, you know, it can get a little frustrating. And as you can see, the center point here, there's gonna be a lot of wear and tear on that as I use this pattern. And unfortunately, just over the past months of using it, I have actually already ripped a hole in it. So I am going to add tape to the back of this. That is one of the biggest recommendation that you guys, my regular viewers told me about was adding just some painter's tape to the back of the, the little poster board they sent me essentially. So I am going to go ahead and add some tape onto this. I just haven't for the purpose of showing you guys, this is how you get your chart. It's massive. Um, their smaller charts also come in one whole sheet. You can't really cut up it because there's no line or space dividend in between for you to be able to do so. So that can be a little bit hard and tricky, but if you're someone who stitches lavender and lace, Teresa Wensler, a lot of different you know patterns that came out in the 80s, 90s, they were one large sheet of paper instead of being separate ones, like what we may be used to right now in today's market. So it hasn't been a bother to me. I'm just worried about the longevity of the chart, but I also know myself, I'm never going to restitch these charts. So I'm highlighting on them, I'm marking on them, and I'm not caring about passing it on to the next person. Uh, the flosses themselves, as I said, love DMCs. They're absolutely amazing. This is your floss card situation with Magic Needle. Um, so you get a good amount of threads in the sense of like there's a good amount of colors. The more colors there is in a kit, I found the more detail you get to your stitch, which is great. There's also blended stitches in here and I like that each post, like they have some extra spaces. I'm not sure if that's intentional, but I like that because I'm able to put the, the extra blended thread that I have on one of the extra holes. I actually like the Magic Needle cards. They're a little bit of a thicker um, paper cardstock situation. The holes aren't too close together. I'm not finding that the threads are so long that they tangle up. So I'm actually enjoying this, <laughs> this card situation. And I did learn from Katie over at Red Stitchery. She's an amazing floss tuber to watch if you're interested in some kits. Definitely check her out. If you unloop these, so see how they're slip knot on there? If you unloop them and you braid them, you're able to pull the threads from the braid and it actually works fabulously. And that makes it to where the ends aren't getting so tangled. But as you can see, I just pulled these out of the bag and they're already really detangling. It's not too bad of a system and I'm really not minding it. When I put it in my bag, I just kind of twist them like this and plop them in the bag. And that's how I've been storing them. It's working great for me. It's causing no tangles, no, no issues for me so far. But again, I've only had this sitting for five months. So could it get worse over time? Possibly. But so far, no issue. Um, I really enjoy the, the floss card situation. I think they're great. It's a good quality kit. Um, I wish there was an extra hole on the card to put your extra bits of thread. But if you have a hole punch, you would definitely be able to add a, you know, a, a line of holes underneath for sure. And that would be no problem at all. 
the next thing is that fabric being a Zweigart Ada. I absolutely love the Zweigart Ada. It softens up so nicely. This one is a nice soft blue. I love that the kits for Magic Needle kind of have a variation of different shades of Zweigart Adas. So you're not getting just always plain old white Ada. You know what I mean? It's a little bit more fun for me to have a little bit more of a variety between my kits and a lot of them are on white Ada. So I did like that this one was a soft blue. Sorry, there's a little bit more background noise. My husband just got back home with my daughter from the pool, so there might be some more background noise. But anyways, this is my progress on the Magic Needle kit, and I am just so, so happy with it. I think it is absolutely darling. I love the way it looks. It's two over one on the 14 count, and I have no issue with it looking like it's too blocky. Nothing. I think it looks great. Um, I did do some backstitching just to kind of test out and see how it looks, and I t backstitched the wings here and added the little hairs to this little butterfly or butterfly to this little bumblebee and he looks so cute. This is the start of the big flowers down at the bottom and there's just so many different shades of pink and so many different shades of purple because again they give you a good variety of color and the more colors a kit has the better it looks honestly it just it looks so good. The closer you get up of course you know it gets a little blocky but adding that back stitching really made a difference. I'm excited to add it to these little bumblebees down here and it just looks great. There's also half stitches in here, French knots, back stitching and I think that's it for this one with specialty stitches but highly recommend, love Magic Needle, love the actual needle that comes in the kit. Um, it's not like as nice of a quality as some of the other kits that I have, but it works great. It's not too sharp. There's no like snagging areas on it. They're really good kits overall and you do get one needle per kit. So that is my review on Magic Needle. I definitely recommend. I'm absolutely loving them. The next kit I have, this brand is also a Russian brand. Another one that I snagged up off of my bobbins. So check it out if you're interested. This is Andriana. I have this kit called the Magic Shop. And this is the most recent one that I've tried out. And this one, I would say, <laughs> Review wise, up front, starting off, again, if you're not interested in sticking around for the nitty gritty, I would not recommend these kits, unfortunately. But I will let you know what I have done to go ahead and try to work with the kit because I do, I want this finished piece. You know, I love this kit. I love the actual piece itself. It's super cute, but the quality of the kit is just not there for me personally, but they are quite affordable. Um, first of all, packaging, definitely not a package you could save. The I think the bag would just honestly rip apart over time. This is one that I've been working on at work, but so the, the actual product as it comes, it comes with this Ada, which is no brand. Um, I'm sure you guys can hear that. It's very, very dry, stiff Ada. And I just absolutely did not enjoy working on this. It is so uncomfortable, whether I was stitching in hand, stitching in a hoop. I tried to put this in a Q-snap and it won't even hold in a Q-snap. I'm not sure what kind of Ada this is, but I do not like it. So I do have a large, huge actually cut of Ada in my stash. And I have gone ahead and actually replaced the Ada in this kit with just plain old Zweigart 18 cow Ada and I'm stitching it two over one just like the kit would have had you do originally and I I like it so much more just overall such a better like stitching ex experience um, I'm gonna go ahead and pop again a 10 by 10 square on the screen of the chart itself so you can see what the chart looks like again this is one that you have the back stitching on the same exact page as what you have your actual chart on and that can definitely be a problem for some people it can be hard to use and hard to see this one also has very very intense like the colors of the squares are very full saturation Whereas with Magic Needle, they're a bit softer, almost like as if you were to use a highlighter with the Magic Needle, you could definitely see them. Whereas if you're using the highlighter with the Andriana kits, I personally don't think you can see where you are highlighting off of because a lot of this chart that I picked out is darker areas. It also comes in a poster board, but the nice thing about this being one full poster board though, and the one thing that I do really like about the chart is the color key itself is in this little area. So you could actually cut this out and put it next to you. Like if you have a stand that you stitch in or a specific area you stitch in, you could definitely have this just cut out and separated from the piece itself. And the chart actually has like a break in the charting. So 
there's a white line down every single page. And so you could actually cut this into four different pages. And I really like that. It's going to make it so much easier to carry around and to stitch when you, you know, aren't necessarily at home or whatever, and you just want one page of stitching, you can just cut this. There's going to be no overlay of like the little area. Sometimes there's a little area where it's shaded and there'll be two or three, you know, like blocks of stitches that are a repeat from the previous page. There is none of that. So that maybe that would be a little bit confusing, but I really like the chart. I just think that it's a little bit too saturated, the color itself. It's hard to mark off of. I'm going to have to use like an actual either ink pen or a pencil to really mark out where my stitches were. But after switching out the kit to the Zweigart Ada that I had in stash, I am really liking it. I also did change the count of the fabric. So this did come on a 16 count and I switched over to an 18 count. So it is a little bit smaller, but I think that my stitches look good. It's nice and full coverage and you do get a good amount of flosses in the piece in general. So this kit, I don't know. I have mixed feelings. I think that this floss card situation is not the best because it's a very, very thin cardboard, like easily ripped. Don't get it wet or it's going to rip apart. Um, they're okay. I do like that you get an extra hole to put your extra bits of floss though. So like that's great. And this part is just an easy little slip. So I, it's really easy to grab your flosses off of, but this floss, I do not know what it is. It's the worst floss I've ever used in my life. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm not sure if you can hear that. It's extraordinarily dry. Just dry to the point of, I don't wanna use these. I don't find it enjoyable to touch them. I just do not like them. Um, they fray up a little bit, not extreme, and they definitely have frayed up less since I switched over to the Zweigart because with the original fabric they give you in the kit, it's so stiff with these dry flosses dragging it through the fabric. It got so just, like shredded, but not at the tips of the floss, like the whole floss strand was getting shredded. So I'm gonna insert a picture that I took when I was at the pool stitching and you'll see, you can see kind of fuzz balls on the, th the strand of thread itself. So I really did not enjoy this. Um, the needle that comes with the kit is great. No complaints there. I think it's a good needle. It's just a basic, almost looks like a John James gold because the tip of the needle head it here where you thread it is gold. So it does look like it's a John James gold, but doesn't say that on the packaging. So I'm not sure. I just would not recommend this brand. I am gonna not purchase from this designer. I don't think ever again, which really kills me because I actually really love some of the designs. The designs are like 10 out of 10. Some of them are so cute and whimsical and just very like Halloween, but not in your face Halloween. I don't know, you know, like I love this. It's Halloween, but not in your face Halloween. And I love that. I thought like it's very, I don't know, wizards, the magic shop. I just, I think it's gonna be so cute because I have a little Quaker piece that has a like a witch in the middle and I thought this is gonna look so cute together like this is her little magic shop but <laughs> yeah I wouldn't recommend not my fave decent I can work with it but I did have to you know use Ada that I purchased that and you know eh, that can that can kill someone's joy for it I suppose all right, next brand is Riolas. This is another Russian kit brand and another one that I purchased off of my bobbin. This is the kit that I'm stitching currently and this is, I wanna say it's cherries. Yeah, rose and sweet cherries. Love the kit, it's a full coverage. Mine is one of the wool acrylic blends. So that is something that's a little bit different. Packaging that it came in, again, not a package that I feel like you could reuse. It definitely was one that I had to just rip right open and then I used my own project bag. It comes with Ada that is not Zweigart brand, but I do not mind this Ada. It's kind of, um, feels like 100% cotton. It's definitely fraying, but I don't really mind. I'm not worried about it. And I think it works just fine. So no complaints with there. With that, um, again, another really good needle came in the kit. Just one needle, not two. And it looks like a John James gold as well because it does have the gold eyelet. I'm not sure again if it is because it doesn't say on the kit that it is, but it looks like it. <laughs> so good needle in my opinion. The chart, I'm gonna put up a 10 by, 20, 10 by 10 square of the chart on here. Again, another one that comes is a full poster for the chart. Very, very, very thin fabric, but it kind of has like a plasticky sort of coating to it on the actual pattern and the pattern itself that I'm stitching is very very dark and the squares are full saturation as you can see so this one extremely hard to mark off I think that I 
I have a hard time saying if I would recommend these kits or not with Areolas. I think I would recommend it, but it wouldn't be my first option if I was a brand new stitcher. We'll say that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but the chart being full coverage like that, it's just one that it's really, I'm not enjoying marking off of it, but the color key is on a separate page. So I do like that. Cause again, you can cut that out and use it separately if you need to. There is no separation in the pages. So you do have just one full piece. The back of this is the full chart and yeah, I don't know. I'm feeling iffy about this chart. We'll put it at that, right? <laughs> the threads for this one, they come on these floss, kind of like a bobbin card instead of a floss drop card. So it is like a bobbin, I suppose. There is a little slit on the card here, so you can put your extra threads in, but I don't personally like this thread situation just because I feel like this is very, very thin cardboard. And so it's not gonna last very long if you were trying to like use it to put all your bits and pieces on. And I don't like having the bits and bobs on there. I think it's very messy. They could get tangled very easily with each other. There's not really enough space to put a whole punch in here I don't know I'm just not the biggest fan of this situation um, and as you can see yeah very very flimsy but the wool acrylic threads which I thought I was going to just absolutely hate I haven't minded them so much but I was going into it with the thought process that I was going to hate them and so I think that helped <laughs> I have tried though three different kinds of waxes two beeswax just plain old beeswax um, that I was given at StitchCon 2022 or 2023 StitchCon last year and I I don't think that I can save the threads so the threads once you pull them up through your fabric and you're just stitching a regular motion you're not yanking or pulling on them in by any means they just shred the ends of them just they fray apart like no tomorrow. I definitely think it's just the nature of the wool and the fiber itself. The acrylic definitely gives it that longevity, but the wool just wants to wisp away. And so I don't think that these are the best threads for a beginner, but they work just fine. And I do like the coverage two over one as the kit calls for. This is my progress, not very much, but enough to at least let me know how I felt about it, right? <laughs> I think that my stitches don't look as best as they could because the threads are just so fuzzy and fluffy, but I also, think that it's one of those things where overall when you're looking at it from afar and it's hung up on a wall I don't think it's going to be a negative I think that they look just fine and they look fine enough you know strive for finish not perfection I suppose with this one so yeah um not obsessed but I would purchase from Riola's again I would and I think I mentioned I got this one off of my bobbin as well the next one is a Luca S kit, so that would be the next brand. And I guess right off the bat, I would recommend purchasing from Luca S. There's so many variety when it comes to the different designs, and I think that the charts are pretty good, but they could be a little bit tricky for a newbie because I think that Luca S uses of symbols that are very, very similar. So that can be a little tricky, but I would recommend them. So my Luca S kit that I have in stash is Village Landscape. This is what it looks like. You get a front cover sheet. I also was not able to salvage the package for this one. So if you're curious, I could not. <laughs> I'm gonna include a 10 by 10 square on the screen so you can see the actual pattern itself. It's very, very large and I personally like that. I think I need that with Luca S because they use symbols that are literally the same, just turned a different direction. I cannot imagine someone who is like dyslexic or has any kind of like hard time with things like that, looking at this and finding it easy to read. They're extremely hard to read. It also comes in pages, whereas the previous kits that I've shown you have not come in pages. Um, so you have a full color key like this, general instructions sheet in multiple different languages. I think Luca S is like Ukrainian or Russian, one of those. And you have a booklet. The pages for each are quite large. They're not your standard printer sheet. They're larger than that. But because of that, you get a really good, like you're able to see all of your symbols. So it's very clear. Um, the one thing that definitely sucks about these is the back stitching is on the sheet itself. 
The back stitching is the only thing that's in color, but it's extremely hard to see on the paper, like extremely hard to see. And they also include this one sheet that shows you where your back stitch is on the page, but it is kind of just like the silliest thing. I'm trying to find it for you guys straight so I can show you because it's not part of the chart itself. So that back stitch being as hard as it is to see, Luca S includes this paper with each one of their kits that shows you where the back stitch is at on the chart. But it's kind of silly the way that they do it because obviously there's no gridding on here. I think they do this just so that you can look at, you can refer back to your chart essentially and be like, oh, there was back stitching in these areas kind of thing. It's just interesting to me, but at least they give you something because I think that it is personally very hard to see where the back stitch is on the chart. It's such a soft color on top of a black and white chart, even though they've enlarged it and it's definitely like the, the chart itself is easy to read, yes even with the symbols being so similar because it's such a good size, but the back stitching is practically invisible, especially after you've been marking off where you're at. So something like this helps because then when you review the chart, you're like, okay, comparing, you know, oh, okay, let me look at that roof line one more time and go back to that chart piece. But I just wish that this layout was a little bit different. Um, I don't think that that piece of extra paper is all that helpful, but I guess it's better than nothing. The Ada that comes in the kit is awesome. It's Weigar Ada, it's super soft. I definitely enjoy it. And I really also enjoy the threads because I think that these are anchor or possibly DMC threads. They're really, really good threads though, great quality. I thought I liked this floss bobbin situation. So there's lots and lots of flosses with this because it is a full coverage because these are nice and thick so i will give it that to them they're nice thick cardboard they do have an extra hole so you can put all of your extra threads on the side and it's like a bobbin card situation but this is just not my favorite because look at how messy that is this looks terrible i don't like the way it looks can i use it sure <laughs> is it gonna be a bother to use it in my opinion yes i don't really love that this is what my flosses look like you know I just, I don't enjoy that. I definitely think that I will be purchasing something to put these flosses onto, and I'm just going to mark it with the symbol. I do like that the symbols are on the card, but they put the little slit right over the symbol. So like, why, you know, I just, I'm not the biggest fan of this. I thought I was, but I, I just am not. I prefer the floss cards that have the, the big hole and it's easy to pull off of. I don't like unwinding this and pulling my one thread. I don't like it. Way easier the way the magic needle ones come in my opinion. Um, I do have a little, little progress in this one. She's looking cute. Beautiful piece though. Really, really good amount of colors come in the kit. I know that this is a big kit, so obviously you're gonna get a lot of colors, but I just think that the, the colors like are very good shading, I guess is what I'm going for, what I meant to say. So you have a little lady here. I haven't put any of the back stitch in. I have the start of this bridge, this little window with some floral around it, a little gate for a garden. Definitely loving this so far. I think it's very pretty and I couldn't stop stitching on it once I started. And I feel like they give you a really good amount of fabric as well. The needles that come in the kit are great. That's one thing that I do love about this is that you get two needles as well as a needle threader and they come in a little packet like this. Every other kit I've shown you so far only comes with one needle and these needles are great. Um, no issues using them. You get one little, little tiny one. You'll see right there. And that is probably for the back stitching. So I'm just saving that for back stitching. And I probably could use that to bead things as well in the future, but who knows? Um, just definitely enjoy the Luca S kits. I don't think I'm going to purchase any more than what I already have purchased. I have this one here, the My Village, and then I also purchased their, they have a summer bird kind of like half wreath situation and I have purchased that one as well. So I have that one in stash and if that goes to show, you know, I do enjoy stitching on them enough to the point where I have purchased another one and I think that that really says something. Okay, next brand is Dimensions. Um, the one that I'm gonna show you is a Dimensions Gold. So it is not one of the regular Dimensions kits. And the Dimensions Gold does come in a package that is nice enough to use and reuse. It's like a thick plastic material. This is a stocking, so it does come with all the supplies to finish the stocking. Obviously, you're gonna need like a regular sewing needle, possibly a sewing machine. So you would need access to something like those, but you definitely could hand sew it. I just think that I don't believe they give you the actual sewing thread. So I would recommend Dimensions, but not for a beginner. <laughs> 
Um, I honestly took to this like it was cake, but I think it's because the very first brand that I started stitching kits with was one that I now despise. So we'll get to that, but basics, I would recommend them. I think they're really pretty projects and they're beautiful kits. I wouldn't recommend it for a beginner necessarily unless you're an adventurous beginner, which I totally am myself, so I get it. <laughs> the, the actual chart for dimensions, I'm gonna put up again a 10 by 10 square. And I think the chart is not too good. It's very, very small. Um, the colors that they use, I'm just not the biggest fan of. I wish that they would have used like something that didn't look so neon and it's just like hard to differentiate between the lime green and the bright blue. And I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of the charting. Um, it's just not been my cup of tea. So I have actually been scanning it on my printer because I have a scanner and a printer situation. And so I have a Bluetooth one that I can just scan it and send it straight to my phone. Also Dimensions does offer you a PDF if you're interested. You are able to email them and they will email you back, ask for proof of your purchase, which essentially you can just send them a picture of all of the supplies from, that were in the kit and they'll send you the PDF chart. So if you're interested in stitching it digitally, definitely do so. They come in large sheets like this at least my stocking does and it's broken up into two pages so there's this page and there's another for the bottom half of the stocking um, it gives you a little bit of chart diagram information the back of it gives you some more information on how to stitch as well so that's all nice and helpful it does come on great Ada I just checked and I'm not sure that this is a Zweigart Ada and honestly after feeling all the other ones I'm really not sure if it is or not but it is a decent Ada and I like the color it's a really nice light blue it's like a soft I don't know, baby blue, but not bright baby blue, or kind of more of a gray tone. And I do really like it. Um, but Dimensions does have back stitching. They do have specialty stitches in there as well. And there also is a lot of like, you're stitching four over one, you're stitching six over one. It kind of really is a mix of um, textures, but I like it. And I actually found it to be very easy to do and I haven't had any issues so far. So again, I'm stitching mine on 16 count and I'm really liking it. Here's the progress on my little Santa. You can see I have him in a hoop and I really like it. Uh, the chart is not the only downside though. So here are your threads. <laughs> <laughs> so this is one where I'm definitely going to take a note from Katie, the red stitchery, and I'm going to braid these because that I think is going to help because I think that dimensions are way too long. Why are these threads so long? <laughs> it's just insane. I definitely think that they're a good length for when you're stitching one over two because that's a good length itself right there, right? But keeping this in the package like this, they're going to get tangled and just an absolute mess. So I tend to like stack the little cards because this is a little card situation. They are DMC threads. So they're great threads, but I stack them on top of each other and do my same little twisty situation because it's the only thing that I feel like keeps them somewhat organized without getting out of control. And then I just kind of allow it to twist in on itself, just like you would with a hank of yarn if you're familiar. But I just think that these are too long. It's a bad system. I don't like pulling the threads out of this kind of gummy, sticky situation at the top. It doesn't ruin that end of the thread. I just don't like it. <laughs> I just don't like it. But overall, I love the product. So I definitely will, you know, I'll continue to stitch on dimensions. And I love that you get everything that comes with the, you know, that you see in the chart itself. And you even get extra flosses. Look at what a mess is that, see? This is what I mean, I'm just not the biggest fan. So there's gold thread in here, there's some blue extra threads, cause these are all the colors that you're gonna use a lot of, but the fact that these are so long just makes it to where it's an absolute mess. So I definitely think with these, it's something that personally for me, because I'm a, you know, a little bit more of an experienced stitcher now, I have floss drops and I have things that I can use in my stash, but I wanted to use this like I was a beginner and didn't have all those extra things. And so that's what I've been doing. And I think that it could be made a lot simpler and easier if you buy the little extras for yourself, get yourself a little thread organizer on Amazon for seven bucks. You know, it's an investment piece because it's going to take a long time to stitch one of these and you can definitely you know, benefit yourself and make the process a little bit more enjoyable for yourself if you just organize these a little bit better. <laughs> With dimensions though, I do like them enough to the point where I have purchased multiple others. I actually want to stitch a stocking for everyone in my family. So I do have four stockings because I have a son, a daughter, and my husband. So it's definitely a brand that I feel like 
is enjoyable enough to stitch to the point of, you know, wanting to stitch the four stockings. But also this is something that I feel like is um, like an heirloom piece and it'd just be nice for me to have these stockings for my kids and one for my husband. And so I definitely, I mean, I like them. So they're enjoyable, they're nice. It's just there's things you could definitely purchase on top of the kits to help yourself out, that's for sure. The last brand that I have to show you is probably the one that I recommend the least. <laughs> and I think that you would need to be a very experienced stitcher to pick one of these up and actually have a successful stitching experience. That is going to be the Gouvenier. So the Gouvenier is hands down probably one of the best like designers when it comes to charts because her pieces are very very artful and very very well done but it can be to the point of just too much it, there's just so many shades of white in one rose leaf that it's like unnecessary even to my eye which i feel like i have a pretty good eye for differentiating the different shades of color i can see about four shades of white and i've literally had to use 11. so it can kind of get to a point where you're like okay this is ridiculous but i do think that it also adds so much to a piece because she is in a lot of her pieces reworking a work of art and so i don't know it's worth it in some senses but it's definitely a tricky one so that is the first downside to thea gouvenier the next one is the actual flosses themselves I like that they come as DMCs, so they're great and they're a good length. They're not too long. She ties off the ends, which is pretty nice, but the floss card is the worst floss card. For the amount that you're spending on these kits, they can range anywhere from like 50 to 130, $140. This is the worst quality of all of them. I mean, I have kits that were $20 and they have a better quality product. So I don't understand that necessarily. Um, look at how tiny the holes are as well. Good luck <laughs> slip knotting the threads on there, but also good luck keeping all of your threads in this tiny hole in the first place. It's just miserable. And that really sucks when you've spent $120 on a kit that you're really looking forward to. And that's just, I know it's really brutal, but it's definitely the honest truth. It's just really, really, the most frustrating stitching experience when it comes to the threads. So I personally think I will probably put these in a different organization, maybe one of those larger holders for threads, like the plastic ones. And I'm just gonna get like a set of them on Amazon because that would be a good, <laughs> a good purchase for a kit like this with all of these threads. And I have the linen kit. I do really like the linen. It's just a Zweigart. It's great. It's a 28 count. You're stitching one over two on 28 count, which is really easy to do. Very easy to see. It's just so much fabric. So you can see I have the start of my little snout here and the little floral bit, but it's just so much confetti and so much all over the place all the time. The needle that comes in the kit is nice. It's very large. It's not the best quality out of all of the ones that I've used, but it works and it seems very like sturdy. It doesn't seem like it's gonna like fall apart or anything like that. Um, it's better than the magic needle, but not as good as the ones that have the gold tip. <laughs> so I guess that's what I have to say. I do have little clips on this, which is an extra purchase that I feel like is a must with this. Um, I put this typically in a Q-snap and so that does help hold out some of the extra fabric, but it's just so much fabric, like so much fabric. They're just beautiful though. It's worth it because they're beautiful. Another thing is, is that this is a huge piece of cloth. And again, it's like a $120 kit. Doesn't come surged or anything. I just would be expecting a little bit of a better quality with how, uh, how much you spend on the kits. So there's that. When it comes to the chart itself, do not like them. Do not like them at all. <laughs> I feel like I'm being so negative, but you know, I, I think now after using all of these other kit brands, I realize how much this brand could improve. So not only is this much like Luca S, it comes in pages. I'll insert a 10 by 10 square photo. So you do get a quite a large viewpoint of each page, which I do like. And again, they're the larger sheet of paper. So they're not your standard size that comes in a printer. They're larger. Um, I actually have two copies of this kit because one of my viewers, Jess, who is now one of my really good friends, shout out to you, Jess. I don't know if you're watching this, but thanks girl. She actually sent me her kit because I had to restart this piece. I had taken this to a like office 
Depot, I want to say, and had it bound into a book. Um, it was only like four bucks to do that. So if that's something you're interested in, it did kind of help with, you know, folding the pages and everything, but it's just not, it's not fun to stitch off of these. Um, the actual symbols themselves are so, so similar and very much so is one of those ones where they're repeating constantly, like constantly repeating the different same symbol, different orientation, or same symbol, but one is filled in and one isn't, or one's filled in at the top of the square and the other one's filled in at the bottom of the square, and I just find that to be very confusing. There are thousands, millions of different symbols that exist in all the languages that are on God's green earth, and for some reason, the Gouverneur decided to use the same ones <laughs> over and over again. So, I mean, it's definitely not my favorite brand and I definitely don't think I'm gonna purchase any more outside of what I have. I've been tempted because there's been some really good sales on their kits, but I just, they're not enjoyable enough to stitch on. So I only have two and that is all I will ever stitch from Thieve Gouverneur. As much as I love them because they're gorgeous, I just wouldn't recommend. Um, very hard to stitch and I don't like the packaging it comes in as well. It's one of those ones that you can't reuse in any kind of way. It's just a cheap little cellophane, which is what most of them are. But again, $120 for a kit, kind of expect a little bit more when you can get a dimensions kit for $40 and it comes in a nice thick plastic. So um, you get a beautiful preview of the chart itself. So maybe if I never finish stitching this, I'll just frame this. <laughs> but it's nice. Um, I mean, nice enough for me to enjoy stitching on it because the actual, the products that come in the kit are great. So you get nice DMC threads, you get great, you know, Zweigart linen, or you can do an Ada. There's also option for that, which is great. That's another thing that this brand offers that a lot of brands don't is an Ada and a linen option. And I also loved that this was on that really fun salmon pink color. I think that's gorgeous. And that's something that I haven't seen from a lot of different designers that put out these kits. So it'd be cool if more did do fun color options and linen options because there's plenty of people who just get into stitching that want to start on linen. I did. That's the first thing I ever stitched on was on linen. So, you know, it's just um, up to, to each their own, I suppose, and however adventurous you are. But that is actually all of the brands that I have to review. And hopefully you guys, um, know get a good in-depth review of each one if you have any more questions though or you just are interested more specifically in one brand versus the other then do let me know and leave those questions down below if you made it all the way to the end please do leave me a little flower emoji whichever one you whichever one it tickles your fancy today but thank you so much for watching guys i hope you have a wonderful day and i will catch you next time bye